it's true. You have a fob, two people. You have a Mexican party in the pool. In Colorado, this cheeky bikini Karen does not like Mexicans. Trash. She also doesn't like cameras. You can't just record me. And that is assault. Oh, you guys are such losers. Go back down to Denver. Please, I don't. I live here. I live here. Nowhere where you ever came from, you slow clap. Slime. As the TikToker wrote, bye bye with the cops you go. If you've got injuries on fingers, I'd like to go take care of them. She's crazy. She's oh arguing God. with the cops. Mom, what did they say? That was the voice of a child. Sadly, this episode of Karenicity took place at an apartment building pool in Lakewood, Colorado, in front of several kids. As the young ones have now learned, violence has consequences, especially for grown-ups. It's not clear if the woman was handcuffed and arrested poolside in front of everybody. The video recording ended before that, and Bikini Karen has not yet been publicly identified. But I think it's fair to suspect she is facing some kind of charges. If you listen carefully near the end, the people filming speak of documenting the physical injuries on their hands. Um, if you've got injuries on fingers, I'd like to go take a picture of them. In most states, there does not have to be a physical injury or damage to charge assault, but it does add to the proof. Another thing worth replaying from the video, after the woman hits the person recording, if you listen carefully, you hear a younger person repeatedly say, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you guys are such losers. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Go back down to Denver. Please, please, I, don't I live here. I live here. I'm Nowhere so where you ever came from, you I'm Six, I am so sorry, is in between the vulgarities of the woman and the guy with a thousand dollar watch. So who was the young man apologizing? Was he related to Bikini Karen and embarrassed by her outburst? Was he part of the pool party crowd and ashamed that his group verbally escalated? Either way, this was a remarkable Karen confrontation, and it underscores that not all Karens, racists, and other bigots hang out in Walmart, Starbucks, the gas station, or the local convenience store. Some Karens like to sunbathe in skimpy bikinis, show off their apparent surgical enhancements, and not see or hear any minorities getting rowdy or having a pool party. Kudos to whoever whipped out the camera phone and made sure this incident got recorded. You can't just record me. To be clear, there may have been an apartment building ordinance against pool parties and against loud noises. However, when an apartment building rule is broken, a resident cannot take matters into their own hands and go hands-on. Such violence is not the hallmark of a calm and thoughtful citizen or member of a community. Such violence is an attribute of an easily triggered Karen. And as we've just seen, Karens can be a problem even when they are in a bikini. You can't just record me. By the way, speaking of problems, here in Connecticut, a state police sergeant has proven he is one of the worst after assaulting a citizen with a camera for the second time in two years. I'm trying you to get in the, in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like a, like a savage. What are you Back doing? Before I... At this point, Sergeant Brian Fahey assaulted me yet again. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.